In this section, we'll be going over and learning how to navigate and move through the iPad screens. I have the iPad activated right now, and we're on our home page. With VoiceOver on, I can basically just set my finger down and the device will read to me what icon I've touched. Messages. So double tap to open. As I touched the messages icon, the iPad itself clicked and then read the name of the icon or the name of the app aloud to me. So as I slide my finger across the screen, you will be hearing clicks and then the announcement of each of the different apps that I'm touching. Messages. Double tap calendar. Tuesday. Contacts. Reminders. Notes. App Store. iTunes. YouTube. Videos. Maps. Game Center. Now the good thing about the home page is that it's set up in a grid in rows and columns and is easy to maneuver through. As you're moving across, you're moving in a straight line and there's five icons going across. Then there can be up to four rows on each page of icons. On this page, we have three full rows with five icons each and a fourth row with a single icon in it. So there's room for an additional four apps on this page. After this page is filled up, a new page will be created and any new apps will be installed on that page. Whenever you're touching an empty area, you will hear a sound like this. Okay, so this sound indicates that you're touching a blank area. When you touch an actual icon, you'll hear a click. Page, page one of two. Settings. The iPad with VoiceOver gives you both verbal and nonverbal information. Verbally, the device will tell you that you're touching an icon and which icon you're touching. Nonverbally, you'll hear sound effects that indicate either that you've touched a blank area or that you've touched something that's not an icon. And that's basic navigation.